Hello, uh, oh hi, Jonathan J. Lee. Oh, I hang on Joe Chawa. I work digitally because um, it's the only thing that can keep up with how I think. Painting is too slow for me. I'm not a patient person. I'm very Hong Kong impatient. I want to get things done. Um, so for me, working digitally lets me make those changes very, very quickly to reach the next level of the work and fulfill the work. The software I use is mostly Photoshop. It's like, I think of it like a canvas or a piece of paper and I work flat. But of course, my training from art school, you know, is, is understanding form and space. So what I'm doing is, is emulating that, right? So the idea is when in, uh, a viewer looks at the work, they can recognize, oh, I see, this is what we're looking at. This is where the light comes in. This is, this is the depth and perspective and where the atmosphere is taking us and where the eye is leading us. Yeah, so I try to uh, consider everything on a flat page. The best description I've heard from, from a critic was that it's a mix between Eastern and Western styles of illustration. Maybe on some level, I will never truly be accepted as, yes, I'm a local Hong Kong person. But I think if you look at Hong Kong's history in general, we as a people, are a community, are embracing of these different ways of thinking and new cultures. And that's how we actually, in a way, preserve our heritage, which is being accepting of it. So for me, I wanted to represent Hong Kong the way I think people should see it, which is in a very romantic light, in a very positive environment. The best way to represent that is in context of where they are. So when you see these very, these scenes that we take for granted every day, we walk by it, but we don't think twice. So, but what if, you know, you walk by it and then you actually looked at it again and thought, what if I want to, I want to preserve this memory? You know, it's such a very simple, basic uh, image that we, we see every single day, but we don't think twice about it. I am very inspired and influenced by comics, comic books, Mawa Shu. Uh, American comics, Yapun uh, Mawa, uh, Hang on the Boy, uh, and of course European comics as well. So I think my process is very similar to how they work in the comic book industry. I, I took pictures, you know, and I kind of uh, came back to my studio and found different elements of it to put together and realized that, oh, okay, compositionally, maybe we should push them here, maybe color wise, push it over here, and the lighting should come in this direction. It's almost like you're editing after the fact. So my process usually is, you know, it comes down to, it's a lot of thinking, actually. It's a lot of writing. It's a lot of, um, you know, people have that word, uh, inspiration, right? Which I don't believe in. Maybe when you're really stuck is when you actually have the best idea.